Howdy folks, this is version 3 of my 3 channel trainer and I've made a few changes to make it a bit more crash resistant and to fly a little bit better as well. The main change I made was to the tail area and instead of individual vertical and horizontal stabilizers I've now gone for a conventional cross tail made from 6mm Depron as well which is stronger than the XPS foam. First of all I glued two strips of foam either side of the tail boom uh, and they were about an inch tall and six inches long and that provided a slot into which you could glue the uh, vertical stabiliser or the rudder. The base of the vertical stabiliser is wider so that provides a much stronger join in that area and then I cut a slot in the horizontal stabiliser and glued that on top of those reinforcing pieces of foam and onto the vertical stabiliser again reinforcing that area. And the other big change is to the wing. This version 3 wing has a wider flat section, 600 millimeters wide, and the 250 millimeter tips angle up to 80 millimeters from the flat at the ends. The airfoil section is a Clark Z 200 millimeter cord, and it's a very glidey wing. Overall wingspan is 1.1 meters and it has less of the Dutch roll or the, or the falling leaf sort of flight characteristic that the uh, previous wing had. And it means that this plane flies a lot more smoothly with less of the wafting around of the previous version. And finally, in this photo you'll see my recommended gear for a beginner. Uh, number one is the Turnigy TGY i6 uh, programmable transmitter uh, for about $70 or so. It's got a 20 model memory and you can do mixes and all different sorts of programming. It's a wonderful radio. It even has a, a limited amount of telemetry as well. And it comes with a receiver that has two antennas for diversity, so it has great range. And the battery charger, to, uh, Hobby King has heaps of different sorts of battery chargers available. This one's a B6 Pro, which works fine, but you'll also need to find your own uh, 12 volt power source. You can run it directly from your 12-volt car, uh, car battery, which is the way it's intended to be used, I suppose. But if you're charging at home, you'll need to find your own 12-volt uh, DC power pack, like what you would use for a, a printer or a laptop or something like that. And you'll need a couple of batteries as well. These are 1300 mAh 20C 3S LiPo batteries, and they'll run this plane for 20 minutes at a time.